Okay, hi everyone. I thought it was about time that I did a sales update. This is a few sales. I've tried to pick things that I've shown in pickups on YouTube and on Instagram and uh, just the more interesting sales as well. So I'll just get on to it. So I showed this um, Berghaus backpack uh, and it's the ones where you can like hold liquid in it. So paid £7 for this and this sold within about two to three weeks I think uh, at £40 with free post on that. So yeah that was a nice quick happy little sale. This Bowden cord skirt, um, I do like picking up the Bowden cord skirts, um, they always do quite well for me. Paid £2.50 for this uh, and that has gone for £18.79 and that was a, um, a size 12. Uh, so you know, not the biggest size but still, uh, I find that they do okay uh, for me. Oh, this is a nice one. This, uh, I think, sold within about four days, four or five days of being listed. I paid £10 for it uh, and it's sea salt. It's a size 20, so a large size and that's the brand there. Uh, just like a tunic dress. Um, yeah, and it had these little uh, waves on it and then like if you can get any closer you can see the little boats just about there as well on it yeah and that sold really quickly um, at £40 so I was really happy with that uh, one of Jamie's pickups I think he paid four or five pounds for this and it's just like one of those you know spell out Nike vintage um, jumpers Nike USA I think the fact that it had the USA on it really helped it uh, and that sold for £35 plus postage. Pure cashmere cardigan. It's a small size, but I still picked up. I think I paid £3.50 for this. Uh, and again, this sold really quick as well. So, yeah, well worth looking out for um, cashmere, 100% cashmere. There it was. Um, yeah, so small size, blue, nothing, you know, nothing much to it. But it's just the fact that it's cashmere has really... Um, yeah, hope, you know, um, created the quick sale on that one. This is a little Weight Watchers, um, it's like some calculator type of thing. And basically, there's two sort of systems, it seems, with Weight Watchers. One is an old system, uh, and one is like a new um, point system. This was a new point system. This was a sealed little calculator. Uh, but if you can get the ones that are the older point systems, which you'll have to Google because I'm not 100% sure, but the older points ones, people still like to use. So they do, um, you know, they have to go onto eBay and search for them because Weight Watchers don't make them anymore. Uh, I've see, so, seen some of them getting up to about £28 for one of these little calculators. So yeah, this was new and sealed. I paid £1 for it. And again, it sold really quite fast within about five or six days for £15. So yeah, was happy with that because um I don't know you know um who meant I think someone mentioned this on Instagram and uh that's what made me uh, aware of it oh one of Jamie's pickups I did mention this one on Instagram as well uh it's a new brand for us YMC or you must create now this even had that's the label there it even had a little hole uh, in one of the arms uh, and that sold really quick for £30 um, and I think he paid £4 for it and if that hadn't have had the hole in it I think he would have pr priced it much higher. He possibly thinks that he could have undersold this but 4 into 30 is still nice. And these are all of the leftover PlayStation memory cards for like PS1 and PS2 um, that we've just bought from Job Lots uh, and we've he's just like st stored them all and uh, he just did one big listing of them so uh, he got £60 for all of them and again they sold really quick so quite happy with that I mean you can sell them individually but I think it means you know it means him having to go on to each individual one and wipe the memory and whatnot and so time and effort um he's just done it all in one big bundle uh jewels let me get the label and if i've got the inside label no i don't think i've got the inside label have I? Um, anyway a jewels uh jumper dress and uh that's a size 12 i paid two pound for that which is such a good price for jewels and I got £25 for that. And I'd say that took about maybe six weeks to sell. I think about six weeks. 
oh, these FUBU genes, uh, reversible genes. Uh, yeah, he they, they ended up selling. Um, when I last did my last video, I mentioned that Jamie had picked these up, and uh, they sold pretty much straight after that video. So they went for forty pounds with free postage. So well worth looking out for. That's the label on them there. Uh, one of Jamie's again, this Xbox One Skylanders. Uh, starter pack it was all new inside but the box had been open so you know we would have sold this on Amazon but what with it being opened I think it's just better to do it on eBay he paid 10 uh, 12 pounds for this and he got 38 pounds with free post on that one again a nice quick sale whistles uh it was like a really heavy oversized um sort of jumper and uh, I paid, I think I paid five, yeah, I did. I paid four ninety nine for this and I got £25 for that one. That's the label there. Not sure if I could possibly have got more on that, to be honest. I don't know. One of the Long Tall Sally shirts, when I picked up all of that Long Tall Sally stuff, I think each item cost me £2. Uh, that's the first one to go, which is funny because I thought that would be the last one to go because there's not much to it. But uh, I paid, yeah, so I paid £2 and that one that one went for £15.79 with free post. And the, oh, the Tesco's, F&F &F is just Tesco's. I didn't, I mentioned this in a video. Um, but again, it's 100% cashmere. Uh, size 18 purple jumper uh, and that went for 23.79 with free post and I can't remember what I paid for it it will be in one of the older videos oh Jamie picked this up uh, a vintage like a Buck Rogers um, single duvet bed sheet unfortunately this had um, holes in it otherwise we would have priced this much higher uh, but still happy to get £15 plus postage on that one. And I think that that took around two to three months on that. Yeah, just such a shame it had holes in it, but still great to, you know, still great to get. This Bowden coat that I paid £4 for, I was really happy when I picked this up. I just have a charity shop near me that does all coats for four, for £4, and it seems regardless um, of what of what it is um but yeah got that one uh, got 35 pound for that one with free postage the carmen curlers jamie paid 10 pounds for these i think it was 10 pounds or nine pounds uh, and they sold pretty quick again at 30 pounds with free post on that one under armor uh, and it was a size 2xl it's a quite a nice um, sports brand to look out for that's the logo uh, and this is just a t-shirt so you know if you can get the hoodies and things like that um heat gear yeah not much to say about it really i paid two pound for it and that went for 15.79 and i wanted to include this one because i showed the zara knit on a video and then i came to list it and unfortunately there was a hole just under one armpit so in the end, I just listed it for six ninety nine to just get rid of it quickly. Um, yeah, such a shame that that had a hole in it, but these things happen. Another one of Jamie's, he paid £8 for this. It's like vintage Lego, um, quite a rare one. Um, and yeah, even though he said in a... He said it wasn't 100% complete. It was mainly complete, but not 100%. But that ended up going for £62, um, £63 with £5 postage on that. And again, sold really quickly within about two to three weeks, I think. Still had the uh, original minifigures with it as well. So that was a re really nice, happy, quick sale. And it was already built, so didn't have to build it or anything, which is nice. No instructions or anything. Uh, anthropology dress which the label is I can't remember if I've showed this or not already on a video but just in case I haven't uh, seam worn kept that's the label there I think I paid £9.50 for this and it was new with tags and it was a size 10 so a fairly small size but that one went for £33.79 plus £3.80 postage on that one so yeah I was quite happy with that because that was my first anthropology piece uh, that I picked up these not your daughter jeans 
Um, again, I can't remember if I showed this or not, but I'll just show them again. Let me get the label for you. Yeah, you could quite easily miss them because uh, it doesn't spell it out. It just has the letters there like that. Uh, it's also worth noting in the majority of them, when they sa say a size 10, they mean that US size. It's a US size 10, um, and but it's a UK size 14. Not all of them, but the majority of them. So um, just double check that, especially like if you're seeing like a size eight pair of jeans <clears throat> in the charity shops and they've put them in the size eight section, um, if you're lucky, because you know, most people want to sell bigger sizes, uh, then hopefully they will be a size 12 and not a size eight. So yeah, really happy to get 33.79 for them. Can't remember what I paid for them originally, only a couple of pounds I would have thought. Um, but yeah, happy with that. And it had that little embellishment on the back there. And then last one, another um, sea salt uh, jacket. I paid four ninety nine for this uh, in a charity shop, which usually is quite hot on its brands. But this just must have, you know, gone under their radar. Size sixteen, uh, and yeah, got uh, forty five pound for this with free post. No, I think I took. No, I didn't. I took an offer on this. I got thirty five pounds for it uh, with free post. So. Yeah, quite happy with that. It was a nice little jacket. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to put my Instagram um, link down below uh, if you want to go and follow me on there. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.